Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V. Last time, we arrived here at the Lonka Ruins. Now, if you remember from earlier in the game, we had went to a town called Jakol, who said they were descendants of the people of Lonka. Well, I guess these are the people they descended from, and somehow they're still alive in here after all of these years of this place being buried, and now they're trying to kick our ass. But the monsters are pretty nice, and in between episodes, I managed to get all of the tiaras I wanted. One for Lena, one for Galif, and one extra one for Ferris for later. Oddly enough, as soon as I stopped recording, the next enemy I ran into was another Lamia, and I stole another one right away. And that's like a 6% steal. It's really rare. All in all, it took me five minutes to do all the stealing I needed to do. It really doesn't take that long. I was using fast forward to run, like, as soon as I would attempt to steal, fast forward to get out of the battle with runaway, and I pulled R1 and L1. But, so, even if I wasn't doing that, it probably took me no more than ten minutes to get all three of them. It's really not that difficult. Sometimes it's more difficult than others. I've had it take 15 to 20 minutes to get it done. But still, easily worth it, because it's the best headgear you're going to have for your mages for pretty much the rest of the game. And it's just really, really good. Alright, so, I've also made some changes to my setup. I have set up animals on you because I have nothing better. I have you as a white mage with dimension, you are a blue mage with summon, and you are... Well, I guess you can keep that. I don't really need it, but... Um, you are a thief with preemptive because I'm going to attempt to steal from the enemy that I'm going to encounter next. In this version, his name is Hydra, which goes along with Hyudora. The other one, the greener one, is Hyudora, and this one is Hydra. In other translations, I think this one is Gitara, and the other one is Hydra. So if you're confused, this one's got a bluer tint to him, the other one's got a greener tint to him. Uh, from the other one, you can steal ethers. From this guy, we can steal something better. We sent squirrels at a dragon with multiple heads. He comes with auto reflect, so don't cast any spells on him. He also is technically undead, so if you do get something through on him, then it'll deal that kind of damage if you like get healing through on him. He absorbs pretty much all elements except for healing, obviously, holy, which we don't have access to, and fire for some reason. Uh, I would normally want to cast slow on him since he's susceptible to that, but I'm not going to be able to get that through. There are a few ways you want to deal with them. Remora, if it works, will inflict Paralyze, and he is susceptible to it. I don't know if it worked. But he doesn't have a common steal, and we need some way of kind of keeping him from doing things while I want to steal from him. Uh, like I said, if he has no common steal, then you don't have to worry about... Uh, I want to haste you up. You don't have to worry about taking damage from him. But uh, we, we want to be able to steal this one if you want to keep using a uh, hunter or a ranger or an archer or whatever beyond this point. He does use poison breath, which hurts quite a bit. And if he does, hopefully the game will be nice like it did in my test run. And it will use Nightingale when I select animals, because that would be particularly helpful. Uh, you... Killer Bow, there we go. You can inflict darkness on him if you want. Um, if, uh, like if you want to prevent his physical attacks. Uh, you can use, where is it, Death Claw on him, and that will paralyze him as well. It also drops him down to critical HP. He's got 3,000 HP, so he's got a lot. Um, you can also use Missile if you don't want to outright kill him. And we don't want to kill him if he's in... Uh, whatever, uh, paralyzed, because then he won't use the ability that I want him to be able to use. Uh, let's see... Yeah, I think we'll just throw another cure spell out there. I think we'll use missile one more time. Actually, I could probably just summon Ifrit to finish things off. And make sure you have a blue mage in the party because on his final attack, he will use level 4 quarter. If you're a level multiple of 20, or multiple of 4, rather, at level 20 in my case, you will be able to learn level 4 quarter. 
He also drops Phoenix down. He also has the highest amount of experience for any single enemy in this area if you want to farm against him, though he is somewhat of a rare encounter. And for doing that, we get the Killer Bow, which is quite a bit more powerful than what we had before. Uh, the World Demon, which is an enemy we could, were able to fight before we learned White Wind from him. He can also drop a Darkness Bow, which I don't think is as powerful, but inflicts darkness on the target. Uh, sometimes. Uh, the Killer Bow has a chance of inflicting instant death, so that's a useful thing to use on him while I'm still using him as a hunter for now. Anyway, I'm going to run back to the save point, I'm going to heal up, and I will meet you back up here, and we can move on with the area. Okay, we're back, and I'm all healed up and set up. I have animals on because I really don't have a better ability to give to them. Control for a lot of situations is nice, but I'm going up against a boss upcoming, so don't need to worry about that. We have a time mage with terrain, we have a blue mage with terrain, we have Ferris back as a ninja with build up. And equipment is back to pretty much the way it's uh, been for a while. You have the Guardian Knife because I don't care about using one particular element over another. If I wanted to pick one, I'd give you a Thunder Rod because why not? Um, other than that, you have the Healing Staff and you have your fancy new Killer Bow. That said, hello. That's one way to respond to your daughter. I have a feeling this guy is not the good guy we think he is. It changes its weak point. And it does. It doesn't really announce that it does it, but it does. Uh, he starts off weak to... Are you weak to thunder at the start? I think he's... Oh, no, he's not. He's weak to wind at the start. So we can use terrain to deal some good damage to him at the start. Lots of damage there. And I think... Yeah, he doesn't announce it, but he changed his weakness in the meantime there. Uh, you can throw a shuriken at him if you want. I'm just going to build up. This guy has... Like... 1600 HP in each of its forms. And it's got four forms. Uh, he's never weak to... I think I want to cast slow on him. Uh, he's also susceptible to darkness. If you want to try and inflict that on him. Uh, let's see. In the meantime, where is White Wind? There we go. We get White Wind off. Heal ourselves up a little bit. Remember, it's based on the caster's HP. And hopefully Bart's will use Nightingale, which removes status effects and heals. So it's actually really good. It just won't use it all the time. So yeah, you can keep using Gale Cut. It won't do as much damage anymore. It only does good damage the uh, first time around there. Uh, some of his forms, he is susceptible to uh, things like uh, Missile. I'm not sure if this is a particular form. No. But uh, yeah. So you can do that. Eventually, once you've done enough damage to him, he will go into his secondary form there. Or not his secondary form, but he has like a, an, a whole other form after his first four forms that it doesn't announce. And the final one they do announce on. Now eh, we can use terrain again, I guess. It's probably our, kind of our best source of damage. Unless you want to break some elemental rods against him. Yeah, we, now we're in darkness. We can't use that. So let's do that. And get lucky enough that it uses Nightingale. Gotta love that. Eventually... He will just up and die, which, that kind of sucks. Ah, uh, he's immune to instant death. Wow, that really sucks. But some in some of his forms, he's weaker to physical attacks. But once you've killed him, he comes back, but now he's technically undead. And when he revives as an undead, he changes his level, and he changes his uh, resistances. Now, I can't remember what he's weak to. I think he, like, takes, like, almost no damage from most things. There's a squirrel that didn't work. Uh, let's cast slow on him again, because he's still susceptible to that. Uh, you could probably still cast darkness on him if you wanted to. But the easiest way to take him out at this point is now that he is undead, he is, like, level 40 or something like that. Which means 
Yes, we can cheese him with level 5 Doom. He's only got like 2,000 or 2,500 HP in this form, so we're not really cheesing much, but it makes it a little bit faster. There's not really a whole lot you can do with that fight. Uh, our abilities just aren't enough to... Like, at, at certain points, we would be able to make use of uh, Missile, as I was saying, but you have to be at the right timing, and it's just... It's not really worth it. Hmm? Okay. What was that? That was weird. Well. Is the crystal up ahead? Okay, sorry about that. I had to go get the door there. Now that we're back, we can try and save the Earth Crystal. So what are you doing there? Oh, of course, someone's controlling him. Sounds about right. So we can't fight the guy that's being controlled that's trying to destroy the world now. Priorities, come on. Move aside. That's not going to end well. Oh, they changed their minds. Got to fight them now. What? Now what? Another meteor? Really? Whoa. Wait a minute. I remember you. We saw you in Gull's flashback. Well, that was impressive. You landed in a meteor, managed to blow up a door, get all the way into the dungeon, and take out the bad guy all in a matter of seconds. Holy crap, she's better than all of us combined. Uh-oh. Still confused, he still doesn't know who she is. Hmm? And there goes his amnesia. All he needed to do was see his granddaughter again. Aww. I like how we get a different uh, fanfare theme for when he finally gets all of his memory back. Well, how's he doing over there? It was only a weak bolt spell. You know bolt spells. Cool. and instantly recognizes his long-lost daughter that he hasn't seen in over a decade. I don't know how, but sure, why not? Aww, what a happy reunion. Bart's is like, yeah, I probably should be paying attention to the, you know, the important bit here. And we screwed up again. We've managed to save zero crystals. We're really good at this, aren't we? Not particularly useful, this group of people. Well, there goes the last of the seals. Now, as far as, you know, cutscenes go on the Super Nintendo, this is badass. The music, the flashing screen, the animation, it all looks awesome. I have returned! Time to conquer Earth! Or not. Well, I guess in this case he kind of is. <laughs> oh, there go the crystals. Why would the crystals listen to you? Ah, they allow swearing in this translation. Look at that. Oh, and Bart's gets his ass kicked. I love swearing, too. You gonna be alright there, Bart's? Crystals of Shadow. Next up, Gulf is your world. And I guess he has some magical power that allows him to just instantly go there. Sure, why not? 
He's an evil maid, so sure. Warriors of a different dimension! Still more that you must do. The world mustn't be allowed to fall into void. What exactly does that mean? What spirit? What's going on here? Uh-oh. Well, that didn't end well. Oh, they're still going after him. You probably should stand down. Last time, well, I guess he was a main character, but last time someone went up against a power they obviously couldn't beat, it didn't end well for him. And no, I'm not going to tell you which game I'm talking about. I haven't LP'd it yet. But those of you who have played Super Nintendo games around the 1995 era probably know which game I'm talking about. No spoilers. <laughs> Whoa! He... did it? I think. Right into sad music. And with that sad moment passed, spirits of the heroes that rest in the pieces of crystals, Samurai, Dragoon, Dancer, and Chemist. The last large set of job classes that we're going to be getting. There's only one more left, and we can't get that one for quite some time now. And another load-bearing boss. That's, that's fine. Come on, we, we gotta go here. Grieving can wait, unfortunately. This is a cool little sequence here where we see that everything's kind of on the same map. Or one of the same maps. You just kind of see us going from floor to floor, even though technically it should be downstairs, but it was on the same uh, map in the programming. Ferris knows how to fly the ship. Let's get out of there. Uh, before go through that entire sequence, highly recommend that you pick up White Wind, level 4 um, Gravija, or whatever the hell it was called, level 4 uh, Quarter, and pick up the Lamias Tiaras. The uh, Killer Bow isn't necessary at all, and neither is the Dark Bow that you could get from World Demons, but uh, I would highly recommend you pick up the Lamias Tiaras and get those two black magic spells, because you're not going to be able to get them for quite some time if you don't do it now. Yep, appears so. Gullif, I don't think that's the safest place to stand while we're flying. Oh, why must you leave? came to this world in an attempt to destroy the crystals. I, along with three other fighters, as the four warriors of dawn, borrowed the power of the crystals to seal him. Thirty years passed and nothing had happened. Hmm. Something went wrong. Realizing this, we boarded meteors and once again came to this world. But we were too late. It's revived and has returned to our world. Well, 
was that because we used too much of the crystal's power, it's a fair assessment. But it was them who sealed X Death. Someone. Have they said which world X Death's from? Either way, he was sealed in this world as opposed to Gullif's world, even though they were the ones dealing with the problem at the time. One of us insisted that we take him back with us. We should have done as he said. Hmm. I wonder who that was. And they're heading back to their world. Must reseal x -Death. Her meteor still works. Okay. Has just enough power to be used one last time. Huh. After all this time, we're splitting apart. No, no, no. We all gotta go with them. We can't end the game now. We've kind of just lost. It was the last one, so if we went, we'd be stuck there. Huh. Well, that's depressing. We've lost a friend. Or are we going to follow Gullif and in his quest now? Again, why? I thought they went on one meteor, not two. Seems weird. Or maybe that's just like a teleport beam. Because the meteor's technically still here. Anyway, that's pretty much all the time we have for today. Next time! Or, as soon as you land anywhere, you get this cutscene. Fine, we'll watch this one now. <laughs> I was going to end the episode, but I forgot this cutscene happened as soon as you land anywhere. I thought you had to land. I was thinking I had to go somewhere first. But anyway, two of us have been talking. The other world, Gullif and the others, are battling against X-Death. Must avenge father. And we have to have help Gullif out. Can't leave the old guy to uh, do everything on his own. Let's go to the other world. How are we going to get there? Not enough energy left in the meteors. Well, we'll have to go find someone who knows something more about it. Maybe Sid knows a way. Seems to know uh, a lot about everything anyway. But anyway, that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.